What are corona discharges? Well, corona discharges is an external partial discharge. That is the reason sometimes it's easy to see or sometimes easy to detect. And if you want to measure them, they have a certain couple of characteristics that are really advantageous for us because it is easy to understand or to see when do we have a corona or not. So let's talk about this. First of all, let's say that I'm having um, a pointy or a tippy high voltage conductor. And this would be HV. I mean, obviously, usually it is, uh, I have many, play, many things on high voltage, right? But there's one little tippy part, like a screw or like a bolt or um, like a piece of uh, conducting tape or whatever. And I have my ground plate. And if I'm increasing the voltage and I'm reaching a voltage which is above partial discharge inception voltage, I'm going to have partial discharges. Small ones, but multiple ones. So if I'm looking at my PRPD diagram over here, so here I have my, uh, my phi, so this would be 360 degrees of my AC voltage that I want to measure partial dis discharge in, right? So I could say this is voltage, let's say in kV. And um, also, it's not only this, but it also is in, in another scale, it is Q in picocoulomb. And I'm going to use red here. Uh, for the time being. So, what do I get? If I'm starting my corona, my partial discharges, and, um, and it just started, I'm going to expect to see something around 270 degrees. And uh, depending on how I structure the whole thing and where I do my accesses, I'm going to see, let's say, something here. And let's imagine I'm getting two discharges per Cycle. So I get one here, I get one there, and the next one I get one here, I get one there, the next one, and so on and so on. So obviously I just decided, let's, let's pretend this is, I don't know, let's say this is 30 PC, example given, right? So um, 270. So now I'm increasing the voltage, the, my high voltage. What is going to happen? These discharges are getting a little bit longer and more. And I'm going to get more dots. And um, we described before in another video when we talked about PRPD diagrams that usually we are waiting for a while. And um, it would be always advantageous to have a PRPD or an histogram over a longer period of time. So I suggest don't do it below 10 seconds. 30 seconds is usually a good time. So what is going to happen is we're going to get more and more points. And uh, I do not want to pretend that I know in which order they happen. But at the end, if I'm looking at that, I'm most likely seeing something like that. So it looks a little bit uh, like a banana because it's like this banana shape. And um, the majority of them are around the 207 degree angle of my testing voltage. So if I keep increasing the voltage higher and higher, what's going to happen is I'm going to get at a certain point in time so obviously, this one would need to go higher, right? But at a certain point in time, I'm going to get something here as well. Once again, I'm not saying I know what order it is. So it is usually around the 90 degree angle. And if this happens, and this is usually much higher. So what I did here is, so um, obviously, I started with 30 PC here, right? But the ones on the side, they're a little bit higher. So let's say maybe this is uh, uh, 40 PC or maybe even 50 PC. So the value of the corona stays more or less the same. Um, it's not an order of magnitude of difference in the, the discharge value. However, if this one starts, this is much, much, much higher. And at the rule of some, I don't know, 10 times higher, 20 times higher, 30 times higher, let's, 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 go, with, let's go with 10, right? So let's say this is here minimum 400 PC. And this is the point where I should consider if I keep on going or not. Because if I keep on going, I am risking the idea that I'm actually having a full flash over. So once this starts, this is the point where you say, ah, I don't want to push it too far. Okay, um, what did I draw here? Well, I draw the other thing, right? I said, okay, we have a high voltage and this is our it's a plate, uh, more or less, and the tippy point is on the ground, which can happen as well. 
I give an example that happened to me. Um, I'm in a high voltage area and I'm leaving, for example, I'm having a ladder, a metal ladder, you know, want to climb up and let's say it doesn't have rubber feet and it's standing on the metal floor. And uh, especially if you're doing high voltage setup, sometimes you have it there, you start your partial discharge testing, suddenly you see, I have a corona to ground and you say, what the hell is going on? You look inside and say, ah, somebody forgot the ladder. Um, it could be other things as well, but what happens here, um, let's use, um, Let's use uh, wireless over here. So let's say I'm having partial discharges that are starting here. And in my diagram, they would probably, um, would probably start here. Uh, but it start at 90 degrees and then they would create this banana shape. And now we're in a totally different situation. I'm not saying that this one is higher than the other. I just didn't want to draw it exactly at the same thing. So let's say we're in a totally different setup and uh, pretend this is uh, 100 PC. I don't know. And the same thing applies if I keep on going, going and going, I'm going higher, higher and higher. These ones are getting longer, longer and longer. And at a certain point in time, I might get the situation where I'm getting some discharges here. Now at 270 degrees. And this is the point where I usually check out and stop it. Because if I really risk having a full discharge in air, I do risk that my at least quadrupole might not like that. I mean, there are protection circuits in there that are supposed to protect my measuring instrument. But um, well, it's only a matter of force uh, how good they are. I do not know how good they are. And I usually do not want to uh, damage my measuring instrument, nor my ears, because a full discharge could be kind of loud, depending on how close I am to that. Um, and I have had situations, uh, I've heard of situations where people had a full discharge. They were kind of close to the high voltage lab. They had a full discharge. So there, obviously an electromagnetic wave starts uh, to, to distribute in the room and the person, he lost all of his um, USB ports. The very one where he had his measurement device connected to, all fine because there was a, there was a proper uh, resistor in there because of the, the cable was being detect, uh, connected. But the other USB ports on his computer, obviously, Nothing was connected, there was no resistor, the resistance was almost indefinite. Therefore, there was an overvoltage and he lost all, them, all of them. So when he had to go back, he had literally one USB port left on his laptop. Um, before I'm starting to tell you more and more stories that have nothing to do with uh, Corona so much, um, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you very much for listening and uh, check out the other video where we actually have videos of Corona discharges. Bye-bye.